Jag heter Benny Norling. Jag har jobbat nästan 30 år med satellitkommunikation i alla former. Ja, för tio år sedan då kom något som heter HD-tv. Alltså vi lanserade en bättre bild för platta tv. Och nu har det gått tio år sedan den introducerades. Och nu har vi kommit till nästa steg där tv-apparaterna blir mycket större. Så Ultra-HD är nästa steg i utvecklingen av HD. Jag uh, Chris Forrester. Jag är en journalist och konsultant based in London. I specialize in satellite broadcasting. Um, I think ultra high def uh, 4K is a natural progression for for broadcasting because it's appealing, it's attractive, it gives more information to the eye. It's uh, it's it's a fabulous uh, concept. High definition still only capable of resolving to just under 2000 lines. Ultra high definition takes that to almost 4000 lines. So it is significantly uh, more detail, much much more detail. You will see less violent cutting of the image because the producer if the producer is sensible will let the eye do the work. There's much more detail, there's a richness of detail in 4K that you don't get in 2K. My name is Stefan Heimbecher. I'm head of innovations and standards at uh, Sky Deutschland. So in this early phase, one, as we like to refer to it, where it's only the more pixels, we try to experiment with things like different production style, especially in the live uh, uh, section, whether that's live sports or concerts. But in, in the mid to long term future, there will be other parameters that industry will improve, which affects both picture and audio quality. And as far as the picture quality is concerned, these are parameters which are independent how far away you're sitting from the screen. So you can also experience if you're 10 meters away or even further. Just higher dynamic range, uh, things like extended color range, advanced audio, higher frame rates and such. So this is all, all stuff that the industry is currently looking at and which will eventually yeah, increase the, the quality improvement of Ultra HD even further. I think this is the, the key trigger for, for the long-term success of Ultra HD in the end. The 4K take-up is already much faster than the initial take-up of high definition and that's what's happening in the industry today. So I'm very confident that, that 4K ultra high definition will happen the same way that color happened. Ultra high definition is already on air in many, many countries, uh, South Korea and Japan particularly. And I would expect by the end of uh, 2015 to see many, many services on air. Mass market, probably 2018 to 2020. And on the one hand, we're talking a lot about Ultra HD we're, and we're talking about bigger screens, but then of course we have also this trend uh, in the market, especially with the younger people, that you know they want to have everything handheld and uh, smaller devices and smartphone and so on, which is a complete opposite trend. Um, but they, they both exist and they both have a lot of uh, market uh, penetration. And, and when it comes to good old-fashioned uh, linear live television, then I think there's no way around the satellite. So I think it's been it's been sad as that for for so long now. And it's Internetdistribution av TV eh, har ju förekommit en bra tag nu och det blir mer och mer användning. Nästan 50 procent av vår video av kapaciteten på på internet går åt till videodistribution på kvällstid. Det här är egentligen inte de här näten gjorda för. Har man en 100 megabit uppkoppling hemma så tror man att man ska få hög kvalitet hela tiden. Men så är det inte egentligen utan den här kapaciteten ska då delas mellan alla användare i hushållet. På stora evenemang till exempel när vi har OS eller VM eller Melodifestivalen så lastas ju näten ner väldigt snabbt. Satellit är faktiskt den enda plattformen som kommer att kunna leverera Ultra HD. Och då ser jag fram emot speciellt sportsändningar, live-event, musikkonserter och allting som kommer att ge verkligen de här evenemangen full rättvisa med bra bild och ljud och någonting som vi aldrig har sett förut. Ultra HD är den absolut bästa bilden som vi någonsin har gjort. Thank you.